everyone. I'm Vincenzo Calla and welcome to Top 5 in 5. Today I am joined by the conservative candidate for London Fanshawe, Matthias Vanderlee, for episode number three. Thanks, Matthias, for joining me today. So let's get right into these fun and simple questions. So question one is, what is your favorite book? Favorite book, uh, Sun Tzu Art of War, simply because it's not the most exhilarating read, but it's very fascinating in depth and the information that comes from it. Uh, I do not go to war, do not plan to go to war. Uh, if I ever become prime minister, do not worry, I will not be conquering <laughs> any countries, but I will most certainly be using that strategy uh, when handling all the issues because every negotiation is a mini battle. And so keeping that in mind is a great asset. And that's my reason behind that one. It's an election's a battle, is it not? Some sort of battle. Yes, yes, Unless yes. Uh, it's not like you're going out with your sword and like stabbing people, but <laughs> it's some sort not. of battle. <laughs> exactly, yeah. You know what they say, pen is mightier than the sword. So <laughs> let's get yeah. into the next question. So the next question is, what is your favorite food? Probably oatmeal. I really like oatmeal. There's Arthur Flour Mill, a very historic building just north of London. Uh, very old. It's actually unfortunately been sold, but it's going to be like hopefully continue operations. Favorite place to get oats. Very high quality. Very good. No complaints. It's just good quality. Good price. Just love it. So not so much a food as it is a specific item that I just love. Still food, but <laughs> local food. So support local. <laughs> So third question is, what is your favorite hobby? Ooh, so favorite hobby uh, would likely be, well, you can probably see it there. It's books. It's a lot of books. And we have the Harry Potter series, Doug Ford's book around there, Brian Mulroney's, uh, some interesting stuff on finance over there. That's not exactly quite as exhilarating, but I still read that stuff. So Books would be my favorite hobby, reading, because it's simple. It's not cheap to get all the books, but it is simple. You get something out of it. Yeah, I like reading too. You know, it's one of my, I've, I've turned a lot to it to the pandemic. I mean, what do you do at home? You, there's only so much video games you can play. I guess that's that's my thing. So I'm just oh, reading a lot. <laughs> just reading a um, lot. You know, Harry Potter is my favorite too. I reread it for like the third or fourth time last year during the pandemic. So but always a good read anyways we're going to go into the next question which i think the next two questions will be a little longer but uh the fourth question is what is something that you have always wanted to do mm. that's actually a very good question i would say visiting north africa specifically old carthage area so tunisia that little area not and the areas outside of tunis just because a lot of the historical sites and in, and in El, not so much in algeria but uh, there are some like historical sites there that just don't have the same level of protection as the ones in like italy greece and seeing that old roman architecture especially in tunisia uh, is amazing and so you're able to get up really up close and personal and i hate that it's in such a decrepit state and is ignored but it just feels right seeing it overgrown uh, by covered in dirt it just feels like that time has passed a new time has come but this is a reminder of what once was and there's just something very surreal and calming about that so the beauty of sublime if you want to bring some philosophy in there uh, it's just that concept of like times ever moving and what you do ultimately does matter but does not matter so. that's really deep for top five and five but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's okay it's something to remember you know i think alex trebek said something about that about visiting africa in his memoir that he released before he died last year but yeah something about like africa being home or whatever something like that being in the original place anyway and the last question that we'll go over quickly is what is one piece of life advice that you want to give to the people Oh, um, well, most recently we had an announcement that the foreign reaccreditation program uh, is going to be given the thumbs up under O'Toole government. So that's something I would have put as my primary. So I'm very excited 
but that's going to be there. And I don't have to, I don't have to use a private members bill because I'll get two of those. So thank you, Mr. O'Toole. Very appreciative of that. I love that. Uh, big thumbs up from me. But aside from that, I would want to pass a piece of legislation that I have to really think through, but really emphasizes the skilled trades and its value and how you can best promote it. It won't be something like a skilled trades day as a, like things like that are important, but I want something with substance, something that can really give back to Canada and the community. And so making it easier for people to get in skilled trades, making it easier for them to secure the uh, aid they need, whether we can't do financials as a private member, but we can do networking, we can do programs, we can do uh, simplification of programs for sure, which is on top of my priorities. Simplifying, simplifying, simplifying. So to answer your question, not entirely sure, but definitely something to help the skilled trades, to help the carpenters, the plumbers, electricians, people in those small businesses and people in those large businesses. Something that can help everyone have an easier time doing the skilled trades and progressing their career. So uh, actually, we'll just, I'll, I'll ask this uh, one more thing. What is one piece of life advice like that you want to give to people, like a piece of advice? Speak slowly, be calm, and be friendly. Those three things will help you a lot. They'll help you communicate your message well. And regardless of what that message is, you will go far. If you have an ambition and a game plan behind that ambition, it is a major asset to be able to do that. As people will listen to you and understand you. That is a good piece of advice. Thank you, Matthias, for joining me. That is all for today. We hope, I hope you liked today's interview and make sure to check out our other interview with Matthias on YouTube for Let's Discuss Politics. Make sure to stay updated by following me on Twitter and here on Instagram at vcala2021. Check my website out at vincenzocala.com and make sure to like and share this video. Make sure to also subscribe to my YouTube channel and choose to get notifications there. The link is in my bio. So until the next video, I'm Vincenzo Cala signing out.